On behalf of Alexi Goldstein and the New You Life corporate staff, we want to welcome each and every one of you to this 2021 kickoff event. The theme for this event is Unleash Your Strengths, and that's what we want today to be all about. We are so excited about this event and everything that we're gonna do in the next few hours is all geared towards you. It's to help you build your new you life business. You're gonna hear from leaders, you're gonna hear trainings, you're gonna hear from Thomas DeLauer, from Alexi himself, all in an effort for you to focus on your strengths to build your new you life business. We all have an incredible, exciting vision of what 2021 can be. And what we want you to do today is take a few hours with us and start to understand what can you do? What strengths can you leverage? What tools can we provide you that'll put you in a position to succeed for this year? Now, 2021, that's a full year. A full year is a long time. And so how do we, in two hours, tell you how to be successful for a whole year? And, and I wanna just quickly go through that. What does a year of success look like? Well, I think if we broke it down and we said, if we can figure out what a successful week looks like that, what looks like, and we copy that or duplicate that 52 times, that's how we get to a successful 2021. And if we break that down even further and say, okay, what does a successful week look like? And we say, okay, let's break that down into what does a successful day look like? And we copy that seven times, we now know what a successful week looks like. That's what we want out of this event. You are going to hear trainings, you are gonna hear details, you are gonna hear things that you're gonna to wanna to write down in your notebook all in an effort to say, how? How do I start building my new you life business today? How do I lean on the things that I learned today and the strengths that I know about myself and about new you life and apply them so that I may have a successful 2021? This event was built for you. You are at home in front of your computer sharing this time with us and we wanna offer you the tools you need to build your new you life business. So welcome. Thank you for being a part of this. Welcome to the 2021 kickoff event. We're so excited you're here. Let's start hearing from some of these incredible people. Well, hello everybody. My name is Bruce Leviton for those that I haven't met and I am very honored to be the president of New You Life. And for today, I want to talk to you a little bit about 2020, what we were able to accomplish and then look forward a little bit in 2021. In 2020, we were able to open up a few countries that really made a difference for you and for the people that use our products. And most recently in Australia and New Zealand, New Zealand, which was really, really exciting for us. And it's grown us to a size now where we can look forward to expanded growth in countries outside of where we already have established ourselves. Since our inception in 2017, we've paid out over a quarter of a billion dollars of commissions to our distributors. That is so exciting that we've been able to enhance and change that many people's lives, not only with our products, but also with our business that we have out there. We're very excited to be able to have say we opened up the Hong Kong market, the Canadian market, uh, NFR in uh, China, that has been an exciting piece of our growth in 2020. We've enhanced our corporate staff to be able to support the growth of the business that you guys have taken off with and have been running and make hires in there in key spots to support the growth and invest a large amount into technology that you'll be seeing that will bring your business far ahead of where it is today and far ahead of any other country that's out there. And we were, had the luxury of having, you know, due to these times in COVID, we had to change and pivot really fast from a, a convention where we can be together face to face where we want to be to a dot-com convention. We had over 50,000 people attend our dot-com convention. In 2021, we're gonna concentrate around the world in opening up new markets. But where we're really gonna concentrate is continued growth in the United States. We're gonna put things in place that will be able to grow our teams here to continue to build our home ground of the US. And that's an exciting time for us. We're gonna to continue to invest in the technology to help move us forward, to be able to support the growth of your business, the support of our business, and make us a leader in the technology field in our space of direct sales. New markets. We'll have new markets that you'll see in 2021. Some of them you'll hear today. Some of them you'll hear in the upcoming months. But we have a set growth plan for New You Life that we can support, and it will support you and your growth that's there. And as always with Alexi, we'll have new products. 
Some of these we've been working on for a couple of years. Sometimes it takes a couple of years to build this product to make sure it has everything that we need to support the growth in our direct sales market. But as you know, Alexi has over 600 products and you're gonna see some of those that are gonna be extremely exciting in the upcoming months and what we have. What we have is a family. New You Life is different than any other direct sales company out there today. And the difference between us and everybody else is we have Alexi, we have our product structure, and most importantly, we have you. We have the best set of leaders in our field to help support our growth. We have a corporate staff that's dedicated 100% to you, and we believe from the bottom up of us to support you, we'll see nothing but continued growth in 2021. We believe 2021 is gonna be our best year yet, and we thank you very much. Have a great day. Hey, New Year Life family, welcome. Ryan Linton here, Chief Administrative Officer. Excited to share some news with you and some uh, updates uh, with regards to the company, international, our systems and processes, etc. We want you to know that you are our family. We rely on you and we listen to you and we therefore invest heavily um, in our leaders. We invest in tools, we invest in talent, we invest in territories, and we invest in products. I'll touch on each one of those tools. We have um, invested a significant amount of resources into building modern infrastructure um, for the enablement of your business. To go in the back office, to look at reporting, volumes, et cetera, to support um, the recruitment of facilitating payments um, for money in and money out and have the optionality, multiple optionalities in each of the countries that we are serving. Talent, as you can see, we are expanding in many countries and, and we are hiring um, some of the best talent in the direct selling space. We go through a process to make sure that we are hiring the best and top talent um, in each of your, your markets. We, we want to make sure that these individuals that are facing, publicly facing you in the field, that they are supporting you, just as the backend system is a tool in supporting you and your business to grow and to expand um, and to educate. We too feel that is imperative with internal resources and talent. Product, we're excited about the research and development phase and a lot of the products that we're, we're developing um, that we feel will resonate based off of um, the data and the experience and comments and feedback that you've all given us. Um, and hopefully we'll have a suite of products that we'll be able to launch throughout the year in 2021 and make this a big success in conjunction with the expansion of territories, with the improvements and modernization of our tools and the hiring and training and offering of talent um, with, within New You Life. Territories, thanks to you, we had a successful launch in Hong Kong and Taiwan in 2020, and we're using that as a launching pad to have an even more aggressive launching into new territories in 2021. OTG will be met launching into Singapore, Malaysia, NFR, We'll be launching into Australia, New Zealand, Japan, and other countries that have yet to be announced. We're really excited about the growth and expansion of New You Life, and it's because of you that we're investing in these territories. Hello, my name is Pat Berry, Vice President of International, and I'm so excited to serve you and your growth around the globe and helping you build your New You Life business. 2020 has been a challenging time for many of us, but we've continued to rise to the challenge and provide the teams, the systems, the training, and the staff and offices to help you grow. A year ago, when, when I came on board with the company, we were just opening our first market, and it was a very small office. Now, we have hundreds of staff around the globe to support you. We've got GMs in Greater China, we've got GMs in Hong Kong, we have a GM in Taiwan, and we're starting to grow to other countries this year in Southeast Asia, as well as other parts of the globe. We are so excited with the ability to serve you and to help you grow. Sometimes you think 
Maybe they don't hear us. Sometimes you think we're not growing, but I can tell you this, behind the scenes, we are working on markets that you're not even aware of yet. But as soon as we can, we'll share it with you so you have the proper time to get out and build your business. So on behalf of the international department, I want to thank you for all your work, all your support, all your help. And we make a commitment to you. We are here to serve you. We are here to help you grow your markets. I know Ryan shared with you some of the markets we're going to, but he might not have shared all of them. We might have some exciting new ones that you're not even aware of, but as a team, we will continue to grow around the globe together, and we look forward to helping you grow the New You Life business to all the ends of the world. Hi, my name is Shandy Demers, and I'm the manager of events and recognition. I'm Erin Cameron, I'm the sales coordinator. And we are excited to be here today to talk to you about recognition. We want recognition to be a part of our DNA here at New You Life. And you may have noticed an increase in recognition through our New You news page on Facebook and in our emails. We want to be able to feature you, your accomplishments and your stories. That's our goal. And we also want you to contribute to that. We want you to recognize your team members when they reach new accomplishments. And we also want you to comment on our Facebook page. And we've seen a lot of that happening and it's just a great positive place where we're seeing a lot of people um, just building each other up and um, we are just so excited because we have some new announcements with our recognition program um, first we have our new pin program and we are so excited to finally get to launch this to you and if you achieve a new rank this year you'll receive this beautiful pin and box display and we hope that you will proudly display this and that you'll collect them as you advance the ranks we also have a brand new Diamond Ambassador Award that will be sent when you achieve the rank for the first time. It's a beautiful engraved award and we're so excited to be able to give this to you. And we have so many great fun things in the works for this year, so just stay tuned. Yes, absolutely we do. Um, another place you may have seen our efforts to recognize you further is in the U5 Qualified Program which launched back October of 2020. And since then, we've seen a lot of people actually get U5 qualified. We are so proud of all of you who have achieved U5 qualified so far. That is so awesome. Yeah, way to go. Um, Shandy, as you know, customers are the lifeblood of every business and cultivating those relationships with existing customers is just as important as getting new ones. Would you say that's true? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that being said, we have a new update this year starting on January 1st of 2021. Instead of needing five new customers with a 100 QV order each month to get U5 qualified, you just need five active customers with a 100 QV order every month. So awesome. We're excited about <laughs> it. We want you to cultivate those relationships with the customers that you already have. Um, a lot of people have asked us, what do we get by being U5 qualified? Why should I attempt to get U5 qualified? And I think that's a great question. And the answer to that is you are eligible once you're U5 qualified to receive $125 in retail commissions, five free sample credits in the app, and a very cool recognition pin. My personal favorite of those is the five free sample credits to the app because what better way to introduce a new customer to New you Life than to give them a sample of one of our products, one of your favorite product products, or what better way to introduce maybe a customer that you already have to, again, one of your favorite products that they might not have tried yet. And I just think that that's a great tool to leverage to work toward getting you five qualified the next month. So we're super excited about the updates to U5 Qualified and to our recognition program. And just know that we are here, we're cheering you on, and we can't wait to be able to feature you and your accomplishments soon. So we hope to see you soon. We'll see you soon. Well, Karen, first and foremost, I'm so excited to be sitting here with you. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows Karen the way I do. Karen uh, Luna is our U.S. Spanish-speaking sales manager. So Karen, 
from all of us, welcome. I know it's your first time back. Thank right? you. Thank yeah. you so much. I am so excited to be here and glad that 2020 is over <laughs> and excited yeah, for yeah. this new 2021 yeah. and to be part of this new ULI family. Thank no, you. Well, we're thrilled to have you. And like I said, you're such an asset and just with everything you do. So we really appreciate that. So thanks for being here. Uh, it's our opportunity, years of mine, to talk about All In 60. And we've been talking about this all year long. We've been talking about how Thomas is doing lives and about how he's really ratcheted up his training. He's talking about how you train your body. He's talking about how you train to, to really benefit in your business. So he's focused a lot on those things. And as a part of that, there's all these programs. There's lots of programs that you do, you know, that we're asking people to be a part of. And I, you and I get to take just a few minutes and talk about a couple of those, right? We talk about the daily activities, right? We talk about every day we want you to have eight shares we're hoping that you follow up for 15 minutes every day we're hoping that you do 15 minutes of professional development all those things are a part of what we teach right and we also have promotions that happen we have uh, this new global rank advancement promotion you know where as you grow whether you're new or you're existing within the company that you can basically gain bonuses if you're able to accomplish it before february 26th mm -hmm. there's lots of bonuses attached to that matter of fact they start all the way at 500 bucks and go all the way up to 5,000 uh, if you're willing to get all the way to Diamond Ambassador. So those are just amazing things. And I think, and you and I were talking about this earlier, I think that really helps us to understand the road to coach, right? Yes, and we have a lot of great, great things that can help you guys, not only with this uh, February 26th where you can achieve mm -hmm. a lot of different mm -hmm. bonuses, but with that, you can also do the road to coach, which starts at the promoter bonus, right? And you can earn from 50 to $1,000. So it's something that adds on. And for anyone that's new that needs any type of information, we've also um, done something really awesome in the back office in Dash, where you can see all kinds of video so just from like uh, the weekly calendar to ensure that you don't miss a gel and tail or a zoom training um, we have an introduction to the company from Steve Perkins which is amazing we have an interest through social media uh, we have expectations overcoming objections and we also have a peak interest through the mobile app I love that you brought that up because we've had a lot of focus on the app haven't yes. we we've We've really, as you guys have noticed, organized content within the app. So you can literally share Somoderm videos. You can share NeuroV videos. You, you can share shareable graphics. There's all this content that's a part of that. And we've really worked on organizing that so that you know what you can share, when you can share it, how you can share it. In addition, you have our share program, yes. which shares samples. And we have had tremendous feedback about that. People have said how much they enjoy sharing those samples and what those samples mean to those that they send them to. And you can send them from the app, you can track them through the app. Yes. There's just amazing things that happen in there. And so I'm hoping that you guys are taking advantage of all that content, taking advantage of the getting started, and that you're focused on the things that we know will help you to really succeed, right? We talk about being U5 qualified, and I know that's something right. we've talked about too. Uh, where if you're able, and that's changed, right? It used to be you had to have five new customers. Now you just have to have five active customers in that month time frame. And that's guess huge. what? You're U5 qualified. Yes. So there's just amazing programs that are happening inside of there. And what we're really hoping is that those daily activities, the things that you're focused on, translate into you being able to you know, create new customers, create new distributors, and really, really grow your business. And that all in 60, we always say it, you got to be all in, right? Yes, that you, all in. All in for 60 days. And so that's right. if we focus on that and we focus on those activities, I think that's really where we can shine. And I can't think of a better way to end what we're talking about than to say coming up next is none other than Mr. Thomas DeLauer, who, as you know, has talked all about all in 60. And we have some other coming as well. Right? Yes, we also have some field leaders who will come and give us some testimonies on how they have been successful with their businesses. Oh, yeah, we're so excited about that. These are guys that have really focused on all in 60 and really learned how to build in this particular uh, way. So we're excited to have them. Hey, New You Life family, it's Thomas DeLauer, and I'm happy to be here digitally. Wish I could be there in person, as I'm sure all of you wish you could all be here in person. But let's go ahead and let's talk something that is very, very important with just about everything that you are encountering right now, whether it's with your health, whether it's with your mindset, and especially with your business. As you embark on your journey with New You Life and being a part of this family, obviously you're 
financial success and your, your business piece with this is very important. Well, there's something that I learned early on in my business career, okay? And that was something called minimum viable product. Now, at first glance, minimum viable product seems like something that is cheap, like you wouldn't want to be putting a lot of effort into it, right? Minimum viable product. It simply implies like, just get something out there that's basic. Well, what that means is instead of focusing so much on quality where you paralyze yourself, focus on just getting it out there. So what this looks like in the world of business or especially in content, when you're creating content, putting stuff online, consistency and just being predictable is much more important than trying to create something flashy and high quality because you'll paralyze yourself. I have countless stories from myself when I was in business, like I would spend so much time and so much money trying to make a presentation perfect. I remember vividly being in the healthcare world and spending like two weeks making this presentation for a couple of doctors talking about uh, various lab protocols and things like, and spending all this money and effort. I was like, if I do this, it's gonna pay off. And it just bombed, right? And then weeks later, I'm doing the same kind of thing and I'm just putting half as much effort into quality and twice as much effort into consistency and follow-up and shareability and being able to contact them and be in touch, and it worked that much better. Now, the same thing kind of applies for content. In my world, in my line of work, I could create the most robust, expensive video to put out there on the internet. And would I really even get a return out of it? Financially, emotionally, whatever. You know, generally not. My audience and with what I do for work, people want to see consistency. You want to keep in front of people. And there's two real big reasons why I want you to do this and why I want your message for this year to really be about consistency and endurance. One is it's going to work in terms of constantly keeping in front of people. Okay, being constantly in front of people is how you remain top of mind. It's how you fight off the competition. Some of your content may not perform super, super well, but one thing is for sure, you're always going to be on their mind. They're always going to think of you. And that's one of the first rules of sales. You always want to be in front of them, always be making contact, always be there, always be on their mind. Okay. But secondly, in the world of algorithms and all the craziness with online businesses, it helps to be consistent. And those things measure consistency. If you are reaching potential prospects and leads via Facebook and Instagram and you're creating content to do so, if you create one video every week or one post every two weeks, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna get what needs to get out there, right? You need to be able to focus on getting consistency out there. A couple of posts a day, something that is predictable, okay? That consistency will outbeat, will outwork hard work any day of the week. Okay, now I've talked about this in some of my broadcasts before and maybe it sounds familiar, but you know, Will Smith had said something that was so powerful that just resonated with me before. And, and this isn't verbatim because I can't remember the exact quote, but basically he says, you know, I'm not the smartest guy in the room. I, I'm probably not even, you know, the, the hardest worker. But one thing is for sure, when I get on a treadmill next to someone, either they are getting off first or I'm going to die trying. And what that means is that he's going to keep going. He's not gonna quit. Now, one could say that that is hard work, but I argue more that's endurance. That's mental stamina. That's the ability to continue on even when it's tough. Now, I want this to apply to your business. Sometimes it's gonna get brutal. Sometimes you're gonna feel like everything is against you. Sometimes you're gonna feel like prospects are not interested. Sometimes you're gonna feel like people want nothing to do with your business. And sometimes you're gonna feel like, oh, these products must just not work because people just aren't interested. No. Trust me, there's another thing that someone taught me early in my business career, okay? Early in my world of sales, okay? And that was SW, 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 N, okay? You know what that stands for? Some will, some won't, so what, next. That's the mindset you have to have. Some people will care. Some people won't give a darn. Some people just whatever, right? The whole thought process is, you have to have it just in a general context that you care, but you don't personalize it and internalize it and you move on to the next. What makes us different is that we genuinely do care 
about the consumer. And we do care about our family. We want to bring people into this family because the whole idea of network marketing is just that, is networking. And if someone doesn't feel like it's a family and someone doesn't feel like it's working well, then they're not going to be a part of this and they're not going to continue on down the line. But the only way that you make them feel like family is if you communicate with them and if you connect with them, right? If you have a good relationship with a family member, it's always going to be good, but it's going to be better if you make contact and you reach out, right? You have to invest in relationships. And just because your relationships with your prospects and your leads and your potential clients are online, doesn't mean that you don't have a relationship there. So let's jump over to health for a second and why that's important in that world too. If you had the choice of working out vigorously for three and a half hours every Monday, but then taking the rest of the week off, or working out for 15 minutes every day, which would you choose? I sure would choose 15 minutes every day. I don't want to brutalize myself for three and a half hours. What is that going to do? It's going to burn you out. It's going to beat you up. You're going to have to recover from that. And guess what? You're also not going to get results. It's consistency that is going to beat out that intensity any day of the week. But if I go out for 15 minutes and I do some push-ups, some squats, and maybe some pull-ups for 15 minutes, that's it. I'm going to have better results than the person that's doing that three-hour workout. That's almost guaranteed. So when it comes down to your health, when it comes down to your nutrition, the same kind of things. Okay, set your plans forward for consistency. Make a date with your plan book. Make a date with your notebook every night to plan your day out ahead of time. Okay, when I am on my game with that, I have the best results and that is undeniable. Because at the end of the day, you can make a list of the things that you need to do to maintain that consistency. It doesn't have to be over the top. It doesn't have to be crazy. Just remember that this year is all about endurance. We went through a lot in 2020. A lot of curveballs were thrown at us. A lot of weird things that we never thought were possible, we never thought were going to happen. And our world got turned upside down. But we can absolutely, positively make 2021 the best year ever if we focus on what we learned in 2020 and we apply it with endurance in mind. So New You Life family, thank you so much for being a part of this. I'm excited to partner up and lock arms again this year and I'll see you soon. Hi everyone, it's Diamond Ambassador Danielle Verzaro. I'm excited to be here at our 2021 kickoff convention. I'm sure you're gonna learn a lot uh, at this event that's going to help you build your belief as well as build, build your skill set. Um, what I'd like to teach today is probably the most frequently asked question that I've gotten in the last 10 years in this industry, and it's what do you do every day? What am I supposed to do? And how often am I supposed to do it? I've learned that this is a business of simplicity. If you keep it simple, which is one of my favorite uh, trainings that I've ever done is how to keep it simple in network marketing. If you keep it simple and you repeat those steps that I teach you today over and over again, you will over time see your organization increase in volume. Um, there's never a perfect uh, time to do the business. We're all busy uh, entrepreneurs. So I welcome you to find a way to enjoy your life as well as build the business into and around the things that you enjoy in life. This doesn't have to be a job per se. You can make it fun. You can make it something that you look forward to doing, but it's really about keeping it simple first and foremost in order for you to build something of value. You're going to look forward to doing the business as you see progress being made, as you see volume being built. Um, you're always going to ebb and flow, but just keep the process simple. So uh, for me, the, the process that I like to teach that I think is what I would call a daily method of operation. What do you do daily? Uh, daily, it's about peaking interest. There's a saying in our industry that the people who are really good at step one make really good incomes. And um, that's proven to be true. I've learned that myself. And so when I first heard that, way before I had any type of success, I was like, okay, so if you're telling me the people who do really well get, are really, really good at the step ones of peak, what we call peaking interest, then that's what I want to get really good at. I didn't want to think about step two. I was too terrified about doing step one. <laughs> and step three was like not even a question in my mind. I was going to use my upline for every single call because I was terrified about having to close people. So step one is where I focused all of my skill on and I read and I learned and I um, used scripts and scripts are really important and they actually work, work really well. So the step one is just peaking interest. If you choose to peak interest on social media, chances are you're gonna get more than one response. 
Um, if you're doing it really well, you get a handful or more of responses every day if you choose to do it every day. I'm one of these people that have learned that um, if I put something out there and I get four, five, six people asking for a link, then chances are I did really well that day and one or two of those people will become a customer or they'll join the team. Um, sometimes I find that I don't get a lot of responses. Sometimes I get a ton of responses. Understand that it's never perfect and that as long as you're peaking interest, you're doing your job and doing your job as a network marketer means peaking interest every day that you can. So for me, I try to do it five to six days a week. Um, over time, you'll realize that it's okay if, if people drop out. It's okay if people um, cancel auto ship because that's the natural ebb and flow of this business. But step one is where the magic happens because the more people asking you, hey, what is it? What is it, John? What is it, Tom? What is it, Mary? The more people that ask that, that means you're getting better and better at peaking interest. So I highly recommend you start to learn um, to take already made invites, meaning scripts, and just using those by texting them out, private messaging them out, or even posting uh, to Facebook, you know, Instagram, whatever social media you love, and let people respond back to you and therein lies how you peak interest well. Um, attraction marketing is, is something that I love. I love having people come to me instead of me having to bother people. I don't think anyone likes to bother people or feel like they're um, pestering or pushing or selling. I don't want you to sell. I want you to ask questions. So in this training, however brief it's gonna be, I think it'll be a really good nugget for you to, that will help you see your bottom line of your business grow it's really important that you understand that step two is just sending a link. So none of you have to master step two. Step two is you send getonthegel.com when they ask, what is it? What I say right before I send the link is, hey Mary, or hey John, whoever it is, um, I could get on the phone and explain this for 15 minutes, or you can watch this three minute video. It's incredible. That's it. And I send the link. This way, I'm sharing with the person who just asked me, what are you talking about? What's this gel or what's this, this brain uh, product or what's this uh, immune blend? Instead of me having to waste my time telling people and over and over, I just send the step two link. Step two is easy peasy. Step three, even though I'm gonna bounce back to step one, step three, you should never do alone. You should know who your upline people are, whether they're ambassadors, life coaches, coaches, Whoever you feel comfortable with, you should have one, two, or even three that you can text and say, hey, I sent a link out. Somebody um, ask, is asking me questions. Can we set up a quick call? Sometimes it's a three-way text. Sometimes it's a three-way call. However it works, sometimes it's a Facebook message with multiple people, but your upline should do your step three for you. You should never have to worry about that early on. Until you feel comfortable, until you feel competent, there's no need for you to worry. That's it, your job is to just get your upline to help you and that's what we're here to do. But I wanna bounce back to step one because step two and three don't matter if you're not peaking interest. It is your job every day in this business that you're working the business, let's say it's four days, three days, doesn't matter to me, that you're peaking interest in getting people to ask you, what is it? Because that right there tells you that there are people who wanna know more and once you put the information which is the step two link in front of them, it's their job to actually take a look at it. Now, some will, some won't open it, and that's okay. Um, there are some good scripted follow-ups for you when it comes to um, step two, if someone hasn't opened it. The app is an amazing way to track if they've opened it, how long they've watched it for, um, are they requesting a sample. The app is incredible. If you don't have the New You Life app, get it. For less than five bucks a month, it's an incredible tool for your business. I highly recommend it. But if you're not using the app right now and you happen to send something out to someone or you text it or you, or you um, private message it, your job is to follow back up and say, hey, did you, did you take a look at the link? It's a pretty big deal. I don't wanna pester you. I hope you're having a great day, but I don't want you to miss out because this product is one, is one of the um, best-selling products on the planet right now. And it's something that is truly of value to you, I believe. That's it, your posture, your excitement, your belief in it should translate into some of the people who didn't open the link into opening the link. Listen, after they watch it, if it's not for them, move on, it's okay. But if it is for them, the next step would be a step three. Um, last but not least, when you're doing your step ones, please don't reinvent the wheel. Please don't 
think you have to write something new or change what, what someone's given you. The scripts we have are tried and true. They're what work and have worked for many of the diamonds and ambassadors. And it, and it is a big deal um, when you have a script that works, why change it, right? If it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> so I want you to um, follow this plan. If you're asking me, if you're like me and you're pretty analytical and you, you want to know, well, how many people a day should I be sending it to? 8421 is pretty much known throughout the industry as uh, a framework for, for peaking interest in building a network marketing business. So if you get eight people a day that ask you, uh, or you send out eight texts a day, or you send out eight, I don't know, um, private messages a day, or you put a post on Facebook and eight people said, you know, uh, tell me more, only four of those people will open the link, right? So just know that 8421 is a great framework because if you're texting eight people a day, excuse me, four people a day will ask you what is it and two of them will actually open the link and one of them will buy or join. Um, so to, to correct what I just said, so when, if it's eight people that you're reaching out to or four people, let's say on Facebook asked you, only, only half, let's just say 50%, on average will actually open the link that you sent. So don't think because you sent out eight links, eight people are opening them. It's just typically not how it happens. I wanna be realistic, right? I wanna, I wanna make sure you know that this is normal stuff. It's normal for someone to not necessarily open the link and that's okay. Some people get busy, some people get distracted, some people forgot <laughs> that you sent it and that's okay. Um, and it's, it's important to follow up, but right now all I care about is you getting eight people a day, you ask them a question, hey, have you ever heard of the gel? I wanted to, be to, wanted to be the first one to share it with you. If you sent that out eight times a day to eight different people, five days a week, that's 40 people a week, I can guarantee you your business will grow exponentially. It, it worked for me, I've been using the 8421 method for years now in this industry, and it's proven to be a very successful way to build. So. Don't forget about 8421. Don't forget about step two, get on the gel. Don't forget to follow up and find out, find out, call customer service if you don't know who your upline leader is. You should have their number. They should be helping you with your uh, closing calls, with coaching you, with mentoring you. You have a right to have that access. So don't ever feel like someone's too busy for you or that um, you're not worthy of working with a top leader. We're here to work for you. You don't work for us. Um, last but not least, that 8421 is a gem. Do not let fear get in the way. Don't let your mind get in the way. Don't overthink it. Don't procrastinate. Just send it out. And knowing that some people are going to say yes and some people are going to say no. It's a normal part of this business to be ignored, to be rejected. And once you get over that and you you accept that's normal, you'll start to build a business. And when you when you start paying your bills and realize that you're building something of real value, you're not gonna care about being rejected. So get the rejection off your, off your mind. Don't worry about people that don't respond. Focus on finding people who have a, a need. Find people who, let's say, you know, I've told you they wanna lose weight or they need more energy or, um, you know, they're not sleeping well and say, hey, I got something that might really help with that situation. Are you open to taking a look at a three minute video? A lot of people will say, heck yes, for three minutes that might solve my problem, I'll take a look. And therein lies how we do the business in a very keep it simple fashion. Don't overthink the business, just make this your daily method of doing things and you can't fail. So i um, thankful that you guys are here at convention with us. Make sure you learn from all the leaders who are pouring into you uh, on this beautiful day. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the week and I will catch you all at our next big event. Hi, family of New New Life. This is Alice, Diamond Ambassador from Los Angeles, California. Welcome to our 2021 kickoff convention. I'm so grateful that I can be here to share with you my experience and my career with New New Life. Now, we all know 2020 has been a very unique year. It is a global impact, and we've all been impacted in a way. And I am so fortunate that in early 2019 that I met New You Live. I have never experienced or I have never worked with network marketing. But ever since I started with New You Live, I fell in love with this company. And because of this, it actually changed my life and it changed many of my friends and family and my team member. We are very fortunate to be here 
and I just simply want to share how I started and why I started. I started because I want something better. I don't want 9 to 5 or 8 to 5 job. I don't want just like a regular job where I just go home, go to work, and do the same thing every single day. I want some challenges. I want something different. So when I met New You Life, I did some research. So I, just like everyone out there, I learned the company, I learned the product, and besides Somaderm, which we all love, I fell in love with the whole idea of network marketing. And just because of that, I started. I started as my career, I started as a full-time career that I start and I did with my mom. So she is my partner, best partner ever. So this is something that I think everyone can do, but you just have to understand the core of network marketing. It is beyond your imagination. Sky is the limit, as we always talk about. But this is something that it is real, it is true, because it happened. Not only it happened to me, it happened to many, many of our team members and many out there that I've never met. Now, we never thought that one day we are restricted from traveling. We are restricted from even go out, go to market, or go to just our do our daily life. But it did happen last year, which is 2020. And it happened all year that we've expected the unexpected. And this is something that we are fortunate because of this career, because of New You Life, because of our platform that we are still able to work. We are still able to do what we love and to support our family, to support our loved ones. And because I look at it as a full-time career and I've tried 100% of my effort to make it happen, to make it true. And now New You Life has been open many, many places or many, many country and we are going global. As all I always say that New You Life is not only a company, it is like a university. Like I mentioned before in the Pasadena Convention that it is the University of New You Life and I graduated from the University of New You Life. I've learned a lot for the past two years that I, I will never learn, I will never have a chance to learn in a regular school or in a regular job. And I want to share with all of you here that this is true and this is real. And we are only at the very beginning. We are only a baby. We are only in our third year. So if we start right now, if you start right now, you will have your career and it will change your life because the world is now changing. So you have to look at it in a different aspect. So I ask you to join us, join our team, and join our company. New You Life is not only going to change your life, but it's going to change the life of many others around you. So we have the opportunity. What are you going to do? How are you going to do it? My experience, when the, the day that I saw, the day that I actually thought about making this my career, I had a plan. You have to have a plan. You have to have a plan of three months, six months, nine months what you want to achieve during this period. You have to know exactly, you have to have a blueprint, okay? And then you find your core group, which is your inner circle. You have to have partners, because this is your company and you need partners. You have to have people that who's willing to work with you, okay? Who's willing to do this together as a team. So what I did was I recruited my inner circle these are the people that I know they're gonna be stick together with me. They're gonna be with me regardless, 
okay? So after you have all these people together, they each have their own job to do, and then they each recruit people. As you recruit more people, you have more people in your team, you can put up events. When you put up events, you go out there, you be the speaker, you do the speech, and you share with them what you've learned. And you let them know they can achieve the same thing, just like what you've achieved. One thing about recruiting is we've, we've noticed a lot of people, they're afraid of recruiting. They're afraid of recruiting because they're afraid of rejection. Let me tell you, don't be afraid of rejections because the more you get rejected, the more successful you will be in the future. If you can recruit or if you try to talk to 20 people every day, expecting all 20 saying no to you. You will be surprised what happened after three months because after three months, all the no's will get you stronger, will make you stronger, and you will know exactly how to talk to more people, how to recruit the correct way. All the 20 people every day for the past 30 days for the past 60 days, you've been rejected. These are all your assets because you learned. You've learned from all the things, from the, all the rejections, okay? You are going to be so used to of talking to people anytime, anywhere. This is your career. So don't be afraid of rejections because rejections will make you successful. This is something that we all have to overcome. We all have to overcome our inner fear, which is getting rejected. We don't like to hear no, we like to hear yes. But the reality of this is the opposite. Go out there, go talk to people. Go make your life exciting by talking to people because you never know what's gonna happen. The next no, the next next no will become a big yes. And last, I want to share with all of you, we don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. We can't decide what comes to us, but we can definitely make the best of what comes to us. Always things happen for a reason. I truly believe in that. And that's why I am here and that's why I met New You Life. And that's why Alexi is the one that changed all of our lives. I love every one of you out there. And I love New You Life. I love you, Alexi. Thank you. Thank you for creating this dynasty for us. And I wish every one of you guys the best. And I wish every one of you guys a new you life, not just for yourself, but for your whole family. Thank you so much. Hi, new you life family. I so, so wish that we could all be together at some large event somewhere, but things being what they are, we just can't. So I really appreciate you participating in this virtual event. Now I'm gonna do something I very, very rarely do. I prepared my remarks because I want to make sure I deliver the message the way I truly intended it. This is really from my heart. I spent the last few hours and last night putting this together for you because I hope it will create change in your life. I hope it will let you view leadership here and you becoming a leader as a priority in your life. Not only in your new you life business, but in every aspect of it. I'm so, so proud to deliver this message to you about leadership. So I apologize for not necessarily making eye contact the whole time, but this is very, very important to me that I get it right. So life is about discovering who we are. Leading is about striving to become better than we are. By helping everything and everyone around us to become better as well. Let these words inspire you, motivate you, and encourage you. Most of all, let them empower you to be the best that you can be. Now remember, every time you have to speak, you are auditioning for leadership. 
Choose your words carefully. You're not here merely to make a living. You are here to make a difference. You are here to enable the world to live more amply, with greater vision, with a finer spirit of hope and achievement. You are here to enrich the world. You cheat yourself if you forget that task. Now the You Care Challenge will help you comprehend that, the giving that we can do as people and the learning we can take from that. But who is coming to mind as I speak these words? Listen, a good leader leads the people from above them. A great leader leads the people from within them. Work with and harder than your people do. Those are the lessons I learned from our founder, Alexei Goldstein. And it has been life-changing for me. From watching him in his store, dealing with people one-on-one, -on -one, to seeing him on stage in front of thousands of people, to leading a company to over a half a billion dollars in three short years. Don't follow the crowd. Let the crowd follow you. And that's what I see in him. That's our Alexei. Now, we are what we pretend to be, so we must be careful about what we pretend to be. The greatest leader is not necessarily the one who does the greatest things. It's the one that gets people to do the greatest things. To add value to others, you have to truly value others. A true leader has the confidence to stand alone, the courage to make the tough decisions. But you need compassion to listen to the needs of others. Many of you did not set out to be a leader, but you will become one. Make sure it's by the equality of your actions and the integrity of your intentions. Treat people as if they already were what they ought to be. And you help them become what they are capable of being. Now, even leaders have leaders. Our president, Bruce Levitin, is someone I look up to and admire greatly. I appreciate his balance, his sense of calm, his ability to say no, yet his eagerness to say yes. He taught me a few things without lecturing me. He said, management is doing things right. Leadership is doing the right thing. Now, I suspect as he grew as a great leader, he learned that skill. So here's my advice. Wise leaders generally have wiser counselors. It takes a wise person to know you need mentors. Please find yours. Now, I want to address those of you with a team of one. People just getting started, maybe didn't have enough growth. You don't need a team in order to be a leader. At the point when you stand up, take responsibility for what you believe in, and start acting on the problems instead of complaining to someone else, aren't you now a leader at that very moment? Make the decision to be a leader. I think a leader doesn't necessarily seek out followers. It, it's not a negative thing if you do it, and it, it, but it is unusual. It's not long-lasting to be fake. Leaders need to attract followers through their own free will. Now, that's the followers free will. You can do this by enforcing something that your partners can't get accomplished based on their positions in life. So if you could show them that there's a different way, you will succeed. Now, here's my opinion. Power and respect of that power can come into your equation as a leader, but manipulation and coercion of people cannot. Leadership is not dictatorship. Control is not leadership. Management is not leadership. Leadership is leadership. If you want to lead, you need to invest at least 50% of your time in leading yourself. Your purpose, your ethics, principles, your motivation, and most of all, your conduct is what you need to work on. Then I want you to invest at least 20% helping those with authority over you. Support the leadership. Learn from them. Be around them. 15% of your time, you lead your peers, your equals. And then the last 15% is for those in your team. Seems like a small amount, right? But you see, leadership is more about leading yourself. Here's another thing to remember, because I see this, and uh, you know, people think it's a sense of power. Leaders don't inflict pain, they share pain. Nietzsche said, distrust all in whom the impulse to punish is powerful. Think about that. Don't be cruel, 
be nurturing. Now, here's something I do hear a lot of, you know, uh, the insiders, and I'm an insider, I'm an outsider. I want to talk about those who you feel there is an inside leadership group in the field that you're not in it yet. Well, for me, insiders are those whose beliefs and actions fall in line with the majority of that particular group. But you need to understand and appreciate that those leaders created that from the majority of their actions, building that team. So you cannot be jealous of it. You have to admire it. Anything else is limiting beliefs that are just going to hold you back further and further and further. Now, outsiders differ from the norm, differ from the insiders. I feel as though a true leader can either be an outsider or an insider, but in most cases you need to be a little bit of both. Now, I feel that I'm more of an outsider based on my personal style, but yet I love to work with all leaders. Who are you? Leadership is a matter of our perception, how we view the world, ourselves, and our working environment, and what we generally believe in. No matter how good of a leader you think you are, you're only as good as how people respond to your leadership. If people are not responding to you, you're not doing it right. Now, some of you are missing that on a grand, grand scale. So it's time for some inflection and to think about how you manage your people. And maybe it's time for you to reach out to them. Maybe even apologize. Now I want to address gossip, rumor, and insecurity. Now what does this have to do with leadership? Managing that is leadership. Look, I'm bulletproof on New You Life. Nothing anybody could say or do is going to change my mind because I know what these products and these people do for me and what this can do for so many people. And it's just the beginning. People buy into the leader before they buy into the vision. If you want to test a person's character, just give them some power. And those of you who abuse it, you ever hear the saying, you know, some people will judge a person by the way they treat a waiter? It's very, very important to be aware of that. I want you to keep your fears to yourself, but share your courage with others. That's what a leader does. Never let them see you sweat. You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience. Grow by doing the thing that you cannot do. You cannot be a leader and ask other people to follow you unless you know how to follow too. A large part of leadership is the ability to communicate something people want. And we certainly have that in spades. In fact, we make it easier than I think any other company out there. Great leaders are almost always great simplifiers who can cut through argument, debate, and even people's doubt to offer a solution that everyone can understand. I want you to take a little bit more than your share of the blame and a little bit less than your share of the credit. Very, very important. Leadership is not about titles, positions. It's about one life influencing another. Look, most of you view teamwork in that traditional leader, follower scenario, upline, downline, and I feel those are labels that we may be hanging on to way too tightly. We as a team, as a family, If we want to be a real team and we want to be a real family, we need to share more information. We all need to recognize who knows what about what. Start giving credit where credit is due. Above all, stop being so personally concerned about petty issues that have allowed to be brought into New You Life that have nothing to do with our real lives and our real work here that we're trying to accomplish. Let's just get the job done as quickly as we can with everyone being recognized for their efforts. Now, leaders may not necessarily need direct followers, but instead seek out other leaders who have different experiences in various situations. That's why you'll see so many of us, our leaders, get on each other's calls to share those, those differences. Everyone is a leader in his or her own area of expertise. Some of you are going to learn that in our latest training course, Clifton Strengths. This has been one of the mon- unique, most unique, um, I think, personality tests and introspection that I've ever seen in my career in human resources. And that's over 25 years. So you already know who the leaders in the organization are, both the field and corporate. You have now learned the facts, and, and I want you to use it to the best overall satisfaction of our distributors, but most of all, our customers. Let them see the quality. 
So I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to leave you with this. Leadership is not about a great personality or being a great speaker or having great looks. I mean, it's not about making friends and influencing people. I mean, I know that's a great book, but it's flattery, and that could sometimes be perceived as insincere. Leadership is about lifting a person's vision to higher sights. Uh, The rising of a person's performance to a higher standard than they ever dreamed possible. The building of a personality beyond its normal limitations. Get people to see and think big. And then think even bigger. It's not go big or go home. It's go big and then go bigger. To help somebody else believe even greater than they ever thought possible in themselves. So follow some of these points and you will be great. Follow most of them and you would lead people to greatness. You all have the world at your fingertips with new you life. And don't let the haters, the haters, I'm sorry, cloud your vision. Our track record of record-breaking growth and products that we have available is your runway to a new life. I remember at my first event, someone said, the most successful team has still yet to form inside of New You Life. So go build it. Your call to action is this. The phrase I said at the very first New You Life event I spoke to uh, in early 2018, you can never do the right thing with the wrong people, but you should do all you can for the right ones. You got this. I love you all. So long, New You Life. We are now joined by New You Life founder and CEO. Everyone on this this incredible event knows him, Mr. Alexi Goldstein. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Hello, New You Life family. We wanted to take this opportunity first to one thing. We've heard some incredible trainings today. Uh, we've heard from Thomas DeLauer, Danielle Rich, Alice. Uh, we, I mean, who else will we have? We've had a, a great speaker lineup today, Alexi. It's been and a great day. It's been a great day. The theme of this whole event is unleash your strengths. Yes. And what we wanted to do is maybe talk a little bit about, we've talked about individual strengths. What strengths do you have? to go build your new life business. What we wanted to do today is talk a little bit about with you about we as a company have strengths, right? Like, of course, yeah, we have as new you life, we have strengths. And I wanted no, I wanted to talk to our founder or CEO about what those strengths are and how you feel like those really will help not only develop who we are, but who we are in the future. And so if you're ready, I want to ask you a couple questions. I think I'm ready. Let's do it. (laughs) All right. The first thing is uh, one of our strengths is obviously product. I want you to tell me a little about why you think product is such a strength for New You Life. Of course. So, um, first of all, we're going to be talking about a few of the strengths, right? And, and how this correlates together for the future of New Life and how, how much sense it makes in your business. And hopefully you can use it to get strong and to unleash your strength. This is the whole point, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to relate to every single per- person, of course. So, it's very important, of course, the product is, is pretty much the heart that's in your hands every day that you share with people that you care, you love, and you want to help, right? Um, and, and this is why Somaderm has been an unbelievable story that's entered millions of homes in less than three years and changed millions of lives. Uh, Somaderm is a story on its own that started 20 years ago, literally 20 years in the making, and is so unique and so exclusive to New You Life and to the New You Life family. And, and there's nothing like it out there. While you enter an industry that has so much competition and an industry that I've been in for 30 years now, and I understand because I do make a lot of products, how unique this amazing product is. So, Somoderm not only is unique to New York Life and special to you guys, Somoderm also has proven how awesome it is and how effective it is and how many lives it has changed. And this is such a special product that New Your Life has and it's exclusive to you guys. And I want you every day to remember that, to celebrate it and to feel confident when you share with this product with anyone you care about that you will be helping them, improving their lives and, and it's a product that's exclusive and it's always going to be exclusive to you. Yeah, I think I think one of the strengths that I, I look at from being in the industry uh, There's a lot of direct sales companies out there. Very, very, very few have uh, the founder of that company, also the formulator, 
and, and the product guy, so to speak. And, and I think that's really unique. So I mean, not only do we have Somener, but I think it's cool because we've also entered into a couple other products like a NeuroV and, and, a, and Fortress and of course the Keto line. Maybe just spend a minute there because again, this, this is unique, right? One of our strengths as a company is that we don't have a CEO that just wanted to make money. We have a CEO that cares about products and helps formulate those products. And I think that's, that's really rare in this space. Yes, uh, so, so first of all, Yes, please. I want everybody to know me to know me as the product guy, because <laughs> I am the product guy. This is my life. My Founder, heart. CEO, product guy. Yeah, yeah, I don't got, care about got. the other two. I am <laughs> the product guy. My love is is to invest in products that make and change people's lives to the better. Uh, and then when I find this opportunity, I put all my energy, my heart behind it to produce those amazing products that you guys have in your hands. So I'm not just a uh, an investor into an opportunity. This is actually real tangible goods in your hands that actually change lives with actual real life R&D that's been conducted over clients for, for decades now, right? Uh, three decades to be exact. And, and uh, out, of, out of this hard work over 30 years, I share with you the cream of the crop, literally. And this is why this is so special. And at the end, I will be speaking a little bit more about product and future. And you're gonna love that. Cool, very cool. So certainly product is one of our strengths. As we unleash our strengths at New You Life as a company, product stands out as obviously a clear strength. What do you think is another strength that we have as a company? Uh, the most important part to me personally is commitment. Um, almost everything is useless. Everything without your commitment, without my commitment. And I have a couple of tiny stories I'd like to share with the New Your Life family about why I'm here today. Um, and how my commitment actually, through the hard times and the dark times, similar to what we're going through today, um, made sense more than ever today when I'm sitting right here and sharing it with you. So, uh, one of my stories is, of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in time uh, to, to the beginning of me being in my industry, in the retail industry, uh, in, in health uh, and, and in manufacturing. And uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be brief and to the point, so you guys I don't want to go on on tangents and too much I promise detail. People love hearing from you, so you don't ever have to be brief. I'll I will, I'll have the stories in details because I have a lot more stories okay. for everyone. But but this one, I mean, in in after 15 years of me being in the industry, making a little bit of money and being very happy with it, we ran into uh, economic depression uh, about 15 years ago. Uh, and yeah, it was yes, yeah. and uh, and it was pretty bad. Another one before that actually. And uh, I end up working for almost three years, literally for free. And it wasn't very easy at all. It was very difficult where you're working, you're putting more hours than you ever have, and the outcome is zero. But my commitment, because I love what I do so much, my commitment to the people and to the results is what kept me together. And that's the only reason I am here today is my commitment. So, almost three years where I suffered and I almost lost everything I have, everything I invested, went down to zero, right? But I stuck through it. I, did, I had opportunities to go manage other stores. Uh, I had offers to go do bigger things that I was doing, but I stuck through with what I love, what I believe in, and this is what drove me, is my commitment. Every day I woke up, did everything that I do normally, and I understood that every business is almost, doesn't matter what category you're in, you have to understand that there will be dark times coming. And the only winner is gonna be your commitment and what's gonna put you through it. So this is the first one. The second one is actually, uh, in the middle of my success, I decided to enter the import-export business. And I did really well. And I, and I invested every penny I've ever made into importing this amazing coconut water into, into the US. Okay. So I didn't tell the story to too many people. So it took two years of me running door to door, business to business, uh, distributor to distributor, over the whole country to be able, I spent everything I have again, uh, to be able to land a couple of purchase orders with a couple of distributors, mm -hmm. right? Zero money, zero money. Two years later, I was able to land one of the biggest distributors in the country. Wow. I was almost done. Okay, it was called White Rose in New York, okay? Multi-million dollar deal that I was so happy. It took two years of commitment for me to get that deal, right? 
And then we signed the papers. It was the biggest celebratory day ever. <laughs> and then there was a huge storm that hit New York. And one of my biggest ships that I imported full of coconut water for White Rose was stuck on the New York port for six months. They took my contract and they ripped it to pieces. After two years of committing, right? So this is a part where everyone, again, in business has to understand that you will go through the dark times, right? So at those times, it was difficult. I mean, anxiety and stress and all that investment. But again, I committed to moving the product because I believed in it and I knew it's special. It's better than most of what people had in here. So I kept knocking. I went back to square one and knocking door to door, distributor to distributor. And the whole container disappeared in less than 90 days. And wow. people loved it. And that ended up a business for me for seven years that was very, very fruitful. So there's a lot of stories, but the point is about failure is a food and fuel for success. And if you jump and if you leave, you're just losing all of that credibility that you built and all of that experience that you built and, and all the relationships that you built, thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. And to my experience, 30 years in business, that I'm blissfully saying that I failed to succeed over and over. And if it wasn't for my failures and my commitment to my failures, to my appreciation, to the failures and the lessons that I learned and committing to the message and the future, I wouldn't be sitting here today. And the last tiny story is you guys already know what happened in New York Life, where we started out of a tiny little box and you guys exploded so quickly that, that banks didn't want to fund us and didn't want to allow us to accept credit cards. So I was, I was forced to use my savings to actually fund and pay all of the commissions at the beginning. And you know what? Because of your amazing stories and messages and, and what Soma Derm, the product, did in your lives, I committed to the message and the goal. And I was able to take care of the company and the commissions at the beginning. And look where we are three years later today and how many lives we've changed and how many millions of bottles we've moved and how many homes we entered. Um, hopefully that will touch you in one way or another, uh, but commitment is everything in every industry and there's no difference where you're at. It's about you and your commitment. I love that. And you, you kind of mentioned a little nugget earlier where you just said, and the reason I was able to commit and fully commit is because of this. And, and we talk a lot about this, right? Your why. And I think that's, that's something, maybe the underlying story there is, is your full commitment, whether it's to, to the stories that you shared with us or to New You Life right now. Over the past three years, we've certainly had uh, some, some times where it was tough to commit. Absolutely. And and the fact that we knew exactly what we wanted. I know for you, it's, it's stories and changing lives. I know that about you. Um, I think that everyone you know, watching this right now has to really understand if you want to fully commit to your business, know why you're doing it. If you have that why and that's in your heart and you, and you chase that, nothing's going to get in your way. You will fully commit. You'll stay consistent and you'll stick with it. So I, I, I really appreciate you sharing those stories. Those are cool. Some of those I hadn't even heard. I mean, the, <laughs> yes. I mean, the whys should get bigger during the dark times when you are challenged. Yeah. Remember this. Your commitment should be more when you're not profiting, when you're not benefiting. This is when you start devoting more time, more energy into your why. So this is why your why should be magnified during the hard times, not when you're cruising and having an easy road to walk on. By the way, you know that easy go, easy come, easy, easy go, go, easy up, easy down. So without hard work, you won't be able to appreciate everything you've accomplished. So this is where commitment starts and ends. So I absolutely love that. So two strengths of New You Life. We've gone over product. Number two, commitment. What would you say is, is our maybe our, our third, you know, greatest strength at New You Life? So without even thinking about it, uh, this, is, this word is family. So we are all from, from right here inside this company all the way out to your own home. I want everybody to know that building the new you life family is everything to me. Uh, we are, this is our culture. This is what we breathe. I want everybody out there to know that I'm not just the CEO. I'm one of you guys. Uh, I hear you. I feel you, I want you to grow, I want to support you, I'll invest in you. I realize the opportunity for every person. Uh, this is, and, and I want you to do the same thing for number one, for me. Number two, for the New Life family, 
for us. We need you as much as you need us. So my commitment, I can tell you from our side, family is so important because no matter what we go through, you guys better know that New You Life will be here for you forever as long as I'm standing here. And I'm still young and handsome and have a lot of long time to go. So, uh, and, and my investment is in you and in this New Year Life family forever. So I want you to know that. And, and uh, this is what family does and this is what family always knows is no matter how much we argue, no matter how we go back and forth, we know that our interest is, yeah. is at heart all the time. And you know that you won't have somebody that cares about you more than we do right here, more than everybody in staff knows. And we all have the same goal, the same mission is your best interest. And, and this is the New Year Life family. And I wanna build on this culture forever. No matter where we go, we start right here. This is our family. We started in a little box, in a little box, in a little tiny square, 200 square feet. This is our story. You are this family. We are one family, so. That's, that's so powerful and it's so unique, I think, is just to have really family being one of that, you know, the rooted words. We actually, I think I've shared this with you, we, we had a prior event and you take all the comments and you make this little word map and the biggest word that showed up was family. And I think that's, that's such a critical aspect and it truly is one of our strengths. And like you said, families stick together uh, when things are good and, and through tough times. And obviously 2020 was a tough time for a lot of us, but I think we rallied together as a family. Uh, we've seen continuous growth over the past three years and it really has been a, a story of Resiliency, success, funded on product, and or founded on product, and I think that's that's been a powerful thing for New Life and our story. So, maybe just to kind of put this all together, I think we've talked about you know three strengths. You know, if we you guys a lot of you guys took the assessment, our top three strengths: mm -hmm. product, commitment, family. I think we, I have a really good understanding of how that's got us to where we are today and the success we have today. How would you measure that or how would you apply those strengths to the future of New Life? Here we are, you know, kicking off the new year. It's a kickoff event. Yes. Uh, we're excited about 2021. How do those three strengths come into play? First of all, we are blessed in Absolutely. every way there is. Uh, to be here today, speaking with you and you to be here, being able to watch us and investing your time in us and us being able to provide you whatever we can provide you, we are blessed. We always have to remember that we are blessed, no matter how dark it is. And it's been a dark year for a lot of people. 2020, of course, with, 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 with the COVID. I, I hate even talking about it, but it's a, <laughs> it's a reality, Absolutely, right? Yeah. This affected every single soul on the planet, not just in our country, in every nation and people everywhere are suffering because economically it's been devastating. But after every darkness, there's light. After every tear, there's a smile. So appreciate the dark times because your opportunity literally is gonna be stronger than ever in 2021. This is gonna be an opening. All, people have been suppressed for so long now and it's never, it's never happened in history where somebody's had their hand over us for just about a year telling us you can't do anything. We're gonna come out and explode and show them that we can do everything. Now, the core to what we can share is important. And this is why product, commitment, and family relates to what you guys are gonna explode with in the future. And what I'm talking about is with product, of course. You know that, going back to the beginning, I'm the product guy, right? <laughs> I promise you that this year, before the end of this year, I will be giving you amazing products that no company will ever touch and it's going to be exclusive to the new Year life family so this is going to be number one right uh, what's special about new Year life is that you guys own me <laughs> i'm loyal to you and only you i would never give my products to anybody else except you guys which is which is i'm commit my commitment to you guys and your commitment and patience and resilience going through everything and being here today is is your commitment to me and this creates family we're committed to each other so our future is strong, our future is solid. Um, we will grow based on the core three things with, with product, commitment, and family, because this is what we are. Uh, I'm not worried about the future, it's exactly the opposite. Um, we're working hard right here at corporate to produce to you what you can fly with this year. And, and I'm so excited, 
so impressed to be unleashing those products and, and those every kick that we're going to be working on in 2021 you will love you will enjoy and it's going to be a huge year for you to be able to explode and come out happy uh, and confident and and a huge part of the new York life family is duplication and sharing with people we love and care about but but having the product commitment and family is going to be your core this is our structure and our core and building on these three things should be in your vocabulary and in your book every day and remember this will be our forever culture so that's a, that's amazing that really is incredible I, I i think what i hear you say is that the recipe that got us here is the same recipe we're going to use for continued growth in our future and i i love hearing that because again if we've learned anything um, over the course of the, the day, it's focus on your strengths, know what your strengths are, identify your strengths, and leverage those strengths to go grow. And it sounds like what we're challenging our new, fam new life family to do, we're doing the same thing. Exactly. And, and be patient. Be patient. Uh, nothing is easy, uh, but stick with the structure that you've always had. Uh, if you have your head is over your shoulder, it's always going to be there. So stick with what you know, with what you believe in. And, and with what you understand and simplify things. And remember, whenever it's bad, there's always gonna be good. So appreciate the bad times because good comes out after, afterwards. So and this, is, this is our story from the beginning. Challenges, we beat them. Challenges, we defeat them. And you guys grow and you guys have grown. So after every bump, you guys fly. And this has been the biggest bump worldwide for, for industries across so don't think you guys are the only ones that are going through this i've been studying researching and 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 diving into multiple industries specifically into our industry and i've spoke with colleagues and, and into other uh you know companies and and it's, it's not an easy time for anyone let's yep. be realistic yep. we have to be realistic about this it's not a good time for anybody it's not a good time for humanity it's not about businesses it's not about companies it's about us and what we talk about, our future, and again, going back to our strength, Yeah. right? Those three points is our strength, and this was gonna allow you to relaunch back and, and be able to enjoy the good times after the bad times, the difficult times, uh, always. You have to succeed and fly out of that, so keep the positive outlook, stay patient, because this is the key. If I wasn't so patient uh, and, and, and so committed to everything I did, there's no chance I would be close to being able to serve you today. So my gift was be, being here to be able to serve you. And thanks to the commitment uh, that I put through the hard times, very hard, dark times, that I'm thankful to be able to be here today and share all of that with you. I love that. And I think that we've, we've had an incredible day. Really, we're about to sign off on this event. And I just want to close with, with a couple thoughts. Here you have taken, uh, we've, you've heard from these incredible trainings, and they've, they've really tried to focus on what activities you can do on a daily basis to have success in your business. Um, focus on your strengths so that when you go build your business, you know what those strengths are. That really is, is what we're focusing on, what the training on. But to take it one step further, what does success look like? How do you translate that into success? And I think it really boils down to growing your business. You wanna make sure that you're focused on the right business behavior. And when you do that, you can accomplish exactly what Alexi said. You do it when it's, when it's easy, you do it when it's difficult, you stick with it, you commit, and when you have that, you can do incredible things. And to lean on your third strength you mentioned, we as a family, as a New You Life family, are here to support you in your journey to success. So, Alexi, I want to thank everyone for uh, attending this incredible day. I cannot thank you enough for being here. Uh, I cannot ask you enough to keep knocking on every door and know that you're gonna sleep like a baby because we are family and you have good intentions at heart. So keep doing what you do. I love you all and thank you so much for the opportunity you allow us to serve you and we will continue doing that endlessly. Love it. Everyone have a great day. Thank you for joining us and take care. Thank you.